Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rostam Designer. I hope you're doing well. Uh, what do you know about the wonderful and the beautiful Ferrari, the beautiful beast Lamborghini, and the sexiest car Porsche? Well, you know, owning them costs a lot, and even the after cost costs you a lot. So today I'm going to reveal about the real price of owning a supercar. In this video, I'm gonna make sure that you're gonna make a better choice when you buy your dream car. It can be a supercar. And about a supercar, it's really expensive and there's a lot of things that you don't know about owning them. So today I'm going to reveal about the real price of owning a supercar because you deserve it. So before the start video, make sure that you subscribe and like to my YouTube channel. So stick around and let's see what's going on because you deserve it. Number 5. Secure spot. You know, you cannot drive everywhere and you cannot park everywhere. If somebody noticed there is a supercar behind the garage door, well you know about what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you, somebody's going to steal it and you don't want that. So many owners who own many supercar prefer to transform their house into a garage space so they can view their cars every day. Okay, number four. Supercar has a different fuel requirements. The fuel that your car need depends about what kind of supercar you own. It loses a lot of fuel. Uh, fuel economy is less as you think, but many supercar brands are trying to be really eco-friendly and even transform those cars electric. So they think green right now. Uh, well, it depends on the driver and how fast you are going. If you want to go more than 200 km per hour, well, it depends on you because fuel economy is less. And so it will cost you average $3,600 for full annually. So please think about how you drive. Okay, number three, maintenance. A new paint job will cost you average $300,000. New tires will cost you average $50,000. New fuel cell every year will cost you $100,000. The clutch $50,000 and also there is way more so actually owning a supercar even after years and years and years well you need a lot of maintenance for that car so there's a lot of change for one year okay number two clean is really 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 costly to keep shining you need you need to clean your car every day and it's costly. You cannot bring your car to the to your local car wash because it's not just a car, it's a super car. Uh, natural shampoo and products are being used to clean your super car. They use special wax to remove tiny scratches. So what do you think about that? Because when you drive a car and you want to impress a lot of people and especially people want to take pic pictures about your cars but obviously they're not gonna take a picture with the owner so most of the time you need to make sure that your car look beautiful and shiny and waxing you know so, and don't forget High-end washes is often used elect electronics microscope to clean up the tiniest scratches. So that's why it's also expensive to own a supercar. And the number one, a little extra for you. Every supercar will always need a little extra for example you want to add some red seat belts on your ferrari um, it will cost you another nine hundred dollar 
Matching luggage sets will cost you $20,000. Especially, for example, it's made by Rolls Royce, it's made by Bentley. It can be a, like a lot of supercar brand. They also make luggage, but you need to pay an extra $20,000 average. So what do you think about that? And there's so many little extra and customization they can give you. And it's when your car is custom, well, it doesn't look like anybody else. It looks wonderful and beautiful and unique because it's customized. So thank you. My name is Rustin Designer. And all I wish you is a beautiful life and having your dream car also don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and all for you i hope you the best thank you bye bye